are the Xfinity cars making their first laps in practice. Come smoking at you. Upwards of 180 miles an hour. And these drivers' eyes are wide open at them, looking ahead, wondering what's around the next bend, what the draft will be like. Is Ty Gibbs able to pull up and push Noah Gregson in that nine car? What happens to Josh Berry, the third guy back? He's got to push from Brandon Jones. These are all moments. Even though it looks like they're going in circles, these drivers are studying, trying to learn every second on the road. Teammates together, the two Sheldon Creed on board with Austin Hill. He likes this configuration because last time we were drafting, he won at Daytona. And you can hear him well out of the gas. That's a part of the learning, just figuring out how long you can leave the throttle down. I don't think he likes what he felt because he went straight to the pits after slipping a little bit down into turns one and two. You know, Adam, at, at, at Phoenix last week, we watched these cars go on the racetrack, and it didn't take us about 10, 12 laps to realize that Noah Gregson had a really fast car. He was fastest in the five-lap average, 10-lap 15. We are not going to see that here today because drafting is going to mean a lot. If you're four or five cars back in line, you're going to pull up on the group ahead of you, that's going to give you the five. Oh, nearly a crash there. Big slip. That was Josh eight, Berry. Yeah, the eight car of Josh Berry. But, but what you're talking about, Michael, we're already seeing play out. The, the 98 was quickest. That was Riley Herbst, Brandon Jones, Sheldon Creed. All those guys that we've seen turning fast laps have been third, fourth, fifth car deep in the draft. And with the competition that we have in the Xfinity Series as we watch Josh Berry, see if we can break down what happens to him here. He's up on the outside of Brandon Jones. Well, it's frozen. Jones is ahead. You can see just maybe arrow a little bit off those cars on the bottom, maybe take a big slide, but... <laughs> That's a great save by Barry. Those moments at 180 miles an hour will certainly get your attention. Well, and, and everyone in the garage, and here comes Barry back down to pit road. Everyone this morning in the garage had enormous anxiety over how to handle this practice because you want to learn, but the last thing you want to do is get out there in a draft and throw away your primary car with the race coming up later on today from right here at Atlanta. The turnaround time would be short. And just watch this leaderboard as it changes at the top. Ryan Sieg, Jeffrey Earnhardt, now the two fastest cars in town. And that's just going to continue to evolve as guys get in the right circumstance, the right position in the draft to run that fast lap time. You want to see fast lap times for sure, but the goal of this practice session is don't handle like we saw Josh Berry. And let's see what happens to the 26 here of Earnhardt. Wow. That's a great save as well. You know, you're committed to run wide open, Adam. And when you go down the corner and she's, you're wide open and she doesn't stick, things pick up in a hurry. Riley Herbst to the top. Brought Sam Mayer with him. Nice little tight draft there for those drivers. Here you see the 98. You look at the collection of names in the top 10. The mayor's up there, Sieg, Earnhardt, Jeff Burton, who won at Talladega last year, Brett Moffitt. He won a truck race here in 2018, but that, that means nothing, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It just means he likes coming to Atlanta. We're in the same spot. That's about it. This Good. is cool. Yep. A little rough down into turn three over the tunnel that gets you into the end. Oh, heck, even off the tunnel. <laughs> that just tells you the shocks, the springs, the way these cars are set up to keep them low on the road. It makes it for a bumpy ride. This is a little more harsh than I thought we would see. Is that surprising, given the fact, brand new asphalt, that you have some characters, some bumps on track? Yeah, it would be interesting to, to hear the driver's opinion. Uh, the setup that J.J. has in the 66 car certainly is giving him the sensation that the track is very rough. Now, whether other guys have their cars set up differently, we'll have to take a look at that. 